guys today i have a network engineer interview question for you recently one of my paid student received this question in interview he shared question with me and i thought to share with you let's understand the question see question was in my company i need total 10 number of subnets how many subnets let's suppose in the company 10 departments are there or in a building there are 10 floors right at each floor there are 100 users right they need 100 ip addresses in one department or you can say in one subnet and how many departments are there 10 departments are there if there are 10 departments and in each department i have 100 users that means i need 10 subnets and 100 valid ip per subnet right this is the requirement 100 ips per subnet and 10 subnet now question is from which class i should use ip and what should be the cidr value from which class i should use i should use ip and what should be the cidr value you can definitely find the cidr value very easily because you know formula to find valid host is 2 power h minus 2 right minus 2 is this 2 is why minus 2 one broadcast one network id right you know from each subnet we will have to unusable ip address one is reserved for network id one is reserved for broadcast id that's why i have subtracted 2 2 power h is going to give you total ip addresses in a subnet right so this 2 power h minus 2 should be greater than or equal to 100 this is my requirement right i need 100 ip addresses valid ip address should be 100 so what should be the value of h h should be definitely what will h 5 work no 2 power 5 is 32 minus 2 no 6 work no to work 6 2 power 6 is going to be 64 not work h should be 7 right so host bit is 7 2 power 7 is going to be 128 minus 2 means 126 that is fine i need 100 ip addresses i will get 126 ip addresses it will work for me so host bit is 7 in total 32 bits ip address 7 bits are host bits so what will be the network bits network bits is going to be proful 25 so cidr value should be 25 right that is clear one thing is clear that cidr value is 25 you can say cidr value should be 25 only it will be 25 now let's calculate from which class i should use ip well class c work here let's suppose i am using ip from class c 192.168.1.0 slash 24 is my main subnet if i will use slash 20 25 here 24 is the main subnet let me correct it 24 is the main subnet and if i will use 25 that means how many bits i have borrowed only one bit how many subnets i will get subnets 2 power n is the formula n is borrow bit you have borrowed one bit means two you will only get two subnet if you will use ip from class c so can class c work for me no it can't work for you right again slash value is going to be same 25 only i need 20 cidr value should be 25 only but can i use ip from class c no you have to use ip from class b so correct answer of this question is slash 25 should be your cidr value and you should use ip from class b if i will use ip from class b 172.16.0.0 slash 16 the main subnet right and if i am going to use slash 25 that means you have borrowed how many bits how many bits you have borrowed it mean you have borrowed 8 plus 1 9 bits how many subnets are there subnet is 2 power 9 lots of subnets are there yes sir lots of subnets are there and you will use 10 subnets only 10 subnets only right so what will be the subnets can you tell me that yes i can tell you that as well subnet is going to be 172.16.0.0 slash 16 is your main subnet after submitting you are going to use slash 25 so subnet mask will be 255.255.255.128 block size will be 128 if block size is 128 then your next network will be what 128 here right 
16.0.0/6/25 dot zero dot zero slash slash and now you will be adding block size to get next network all the other subnets right so cidr value should be slash 25 and class will be b class c is not going to work right so my even paid student did mistake he said yes from class c i can use the ip address but no guys class c will not work thank you what do you think now if you know the subnetting then tell me what will be the second subnet third subnet fourth subnet if i am using this ip address class p main subnet and slash value is 25 then tell me what will be the second subnet this is your question let me know in the comment section thank you